Hey gang, it's Victor here with another uh, Chemistry Laboratory Fundamentals video. Today we're just going to be looking at a simple ice bath. Uh, we've done um, heating plate and Bunsen burners before. Uh, now we're going to go the opposite direction and take a look at how you might cool things off. So here I've got some ice. I'll pour into a 600 milliliter empty beaker. Got it like that. And then we see here we're using an Erlenmeyer flask. We've got, it's 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. We've got it filled up to probably 115 or so. And as you can see, I've got my thermometer here currently reading 675.5 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see that. So all I'll do is sort of nestle that flask within the ice. Now we're going to take a look at what happens to the temperature. Um, and we should see a relatively rapid drop. I'm going to add a little more ice around the edges on the beaker. Not into the flask itself, of course. And we've just got water in the flask. It won't always just be water that you're wanting to cool down, but it is a... Uh, common one and we can kind of see so where it's already starting to drop zoom in here on thermometer so you can see that's already down below 67 degrees fahrenheit as it sits in the ice bath here and it won't take long it'll drop pretty dramatically and that drop will slow down as it gets uh, closer to freezing point, of course, um, since that's uh, more or less what the temperature of the ice is. But this is a really good method for rapidly cooling off uh, mixture. A lot of times, the reason that you're going to want to do this is to uh, get a solution to precipitate. Um, and in fact, uh, if you have a solution let's say that has two different solids dissolved in it. If those dissolve, if those solids dissolve at different temperatures, this might be a methodology to get one of the solids to re-solidify while the other still remains in solution. Uh, things like that. There are certain chemical reactions that are, are going to work a little better under a slightly lower temperature. So we see here that's already down to almost 62 degrees Fahrenheit after just a minute or so of sitting in the ice bath. And, that, and that's gonna continue to, to taper off I'm ad nauseum over the next several minutes. So we will leave it at that. But yeah, ice bath uh, is really simple. Uh, it doesn't present as many potential dangers. Uh, usually, you're not working with extreme temperatures. Uh, in the, in the way that some of our um, hot plate and, and anything involving a Bunsen burner or anything like that can pose. Uh, easy to set up, easy to use. Um, sometimes you will have a rubber stopper in the top of a flask, like you see here. You know, maybe you can put the thermometer in there while air can still escape. Different, different experiments call for different uh, specifics with the glassware and uh, how you're measuring the temperature. But yeah, nonetheless, this uh, is a pretty versatile, really simple and useful methodology. And knowing how this works going in is going to make any lab involving it uh, quite a bit simpler. So yeah, I think that should do it. Got you down almost to 60 degrees and you all have a great day.